Hey guys, welcome to the Daily Smash for Wednesday morning, December 28th, 2022. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. We're in Cabo. I said New Mexico a moment ago. Why? We're in Cabo, Mexico. Oh. Cabo San Lucas. Okay. It's not New Mexico. That's a state in the United States. Yes, this is Mexico, old Mexico. Maybe it was the, uh, the one beverage I had. <laughs> New Perhaps Mexico. The sun has set within the last, I don't know, 30 minutes, and we have a beautiful sky behind us. I love when people say, what kind of Mexican are you? I'm like, well, <laughs> my family is my grandma. My great grandma was born in the 1800s, like 1880 something. I remember her. And it was Arizona wasn't even a state, wasn't even America. Like, like wow. it was, it was Mexico. Oh, so when she was born in, in Arizona, what is now which is Arizona. It, yeah. Was Mexico. Wow. Yeah. So That's, people don't even, people are like, where in Mexico? Like, like, no, I'm like Mexican, like from like New Mexico, Arizona was not a state. The, yeah. At until the time then. it uh -huh. was Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that funny? How old was she when she died? Uh, like in the, uh, I was, I think I was like, she lived to be a hundred. Wow. I was like, maybe I was little. I was maybe, I remember her though. Eight. I, I had think a I was great eight. I think, I think I was eight years old. I had a great grandmother died. who died around that same time for me. I think maybe I was six or seven. And I went to her funeral. Uh-huh. And I actually wasn't open casket, but I asked if I could open it. I don't know why. Yeah. And I opened the casket and looked at my great grandmother in the casket. That's Jolie. Jolie was three years old when my grandma died. My grandma died at ninety five. And Jolie was three years old and she was, you know, embalmed and Jolie Jolie remembers that. She and Julia remembers that was her first root beer that she drank. Three years old. First but, root beer. Was it at the funeral she mm -hmm. drank? Oh, see, that's interesting. Like, those two memories yeah. collided. Right. Wow. Um, coming up, Paula Abdul looks like a teenager again. And a bride. Really? A bri <laughs> Where do you see these pictures? And a bride photoshopped her husband out of their wedding video. A bride? Yeah. Photoshopped too? Her husband out of the wedding video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet here on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll know when we post, which is now twice a day again for the new year. We only have three days left of 2022. Oh. How about last night you looked at me and go, what, is it 2022? Or 2023. Yeah, we have three more days. Um, I want Julia to come out here real quick. Thank you guys for saying the nicest things. Oh, look at her. She's all cozy. Come okay. here. I want to ask you a question real quick. You don't, don't want to get in on, it? I don't care. Okay. Who's... You don't have to. When, when, come here. Just right here. You don't have to get in it. You can share my microphone. Um, what do you remember about Nana dying? How old were you? Three. And what do you remember? Um, I remember all the flowers going into the grave. Like, she was all the way in, like, the ground. Do you, but you remember and seeing her I dead body, the... right? Uh-huh. They can't see and then I Say picked, yes. yes. She's going like this. And then I picked um, uh, flowers with Lexi and Callista because I didn't have any flowers for her. And then I put them in there. And then I tried my first Dr. Pepper for the first time. Oh, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Oh, her, she, she, I said root beer. She tried her first well, root beer. it's like root beer, Dr. Pepper thing. It's like <laughs> the same thing. They're similar. Oh, they're very similar. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. But that's okay. a, a weird memory that she had when she was three. But it's weird. Yeah. I have like a memory where it's like... Like an elephant? That's a very like early remember, age. I only remember things when I'm younger. I don't really remember, remember things. They can't hear you. I can't hear you. Okay. Go ahead. But I don't really remember things when I am now. Like, I don't remember things now, but I remember things when I'm younger. Oh, God. That's like old people. Okay. They have like, they have long-term memory and then short-term memory it has gone. First, our top story. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm old ish and i do forget things i do too it's sad i'm middle age ish <laughs> <laughs> I'm not isn't that funny though how that works how the brain works like you remember long t you're you're back in the day but you don't remember what just happened five minutes ago isn't that weird how that it is how, weird how, how that works but we're both we're both very fortunate that we have such large brains that even if we lose 90 percent of it we'll still be really smart oh i don't know about that may <laughs> speak for yourself <laughs> our, our top story is brandy glanville back on housewives this just in to the daily smash newsroom the internet 
says Brandy Glanville got a letter inviting her back on the show. Yeah. We only bring this up because Kelly was supposed to do an interview with Brandy for Brandy's podcast this week. And then yesterday we got a note from the producer saying we have to cancel due to unforeseen circumstances. So I see today that she's going to be back. Like she had some cryptic message that she was going to be back on Housewives. And I'm like, guaranteed you she's scared like everybody else except Jeff Lewis. Jeff Lewis only is the one that has the balls. Thank you, Jeff. And the smarts, really, to, yeah. to, to you know, he's the only smart man, honestly. Well, he appreciates you. He appreciates us. And he's a good dude and he's smart. Yeah. And he's funny. And, and he, he doesn't and he doesn't go with the sheep. He doesn't care yeah. what a very small but loud minority has to say about you and I. Right. In any event, you were convinced that Brandy canceled our, your interview because she got invited back to the house, which could be true. We don't know. Yes. But she told you I texted it was a, her. a family thing that we're not going to talk about. Yeah. She said, don't say anything. And I'm not going to. I'm going to respect her wishes. But she had a, a, a family thing. And um, so she couldn't do it. And she said, no, she's not on Housewives. Now, they tell you not to say anything. So. Right. So she could have gotten the letter, but she was told not to say anything about it. So she's. But she said, "No, it. I'm not on Housewives." That's what she said. So, okay. Yeah. Well, we don't know. Then we have we have uh, multiple sources with varying stories, mm -hmm. which happens often. You know, I just occurred to me that some people have said they don't like that I take my glasses off and put them back on again. It could be a drinking game. You have to drink every time I put them on or take exactly. them off. Exactly. And I actually made a lot of you smashers upset, once again, for saying, how do you live in that uh, cold in Oh, the Buffalo. Buffalo story? Listen, this is how it goes. You always like where you grew up. It's the truth. It's the, that's the facts of the matter. You always like the weather you grew up in, wherever that may be. I get it. You were born there. I grew up in heat. I grew up in, you know, warm weather. So I don't understand people that can left to shovel the snow, warm their car up in the snow. It just seems like a pain in the butt to me. I don't know. Now, if you're from there, you grew up there, you have your family there. I get it. I was just, you know, you always, you know, I, I, I misspoke. Sorry. You guys like it in Buffalo. Get well, it. I like Buffalo chicken wings. I know it, it's from <laughs> Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> buffalo wings. It, it's brutal there. It is brutal. It's brutal in that whole Northeast Upper Northeast, upstate New York. It's I've been there many times. I was I also lived in Chicago for a year and a half, and one winter, which was their coldest in a hundred years. And I always said, why did they build a city here? Mm -hmm. Why would you build a city in this place that is so effing cold? Oh, well, I used to say that about Arizona. How do they build a place where there's no water? <laughs> it's the desert. <laughs> <laughs> and I understand that some, you know, people call it home and they have ties to the community and that, you know, that that's where their job is. That's where their family is. I get that. But if you have any, any choice, I can't imagine why you would, why you wouldn't want to go somewhere that was milder, at least. I can't handle it. Right. Um, and then I have this um, other lady on my smash that goes, I thought you were better than talking bad about Michael. Uh, I've been quiet for many, many years. I have lost it. Okay. Um, this is the only place that I can talk about this. This is what I talk about on my, on my daily stuff. My daughter knows what it's like and. But you don't make it a habit of bashing him. You could. Oh, I could. But you don't make it a habit. Mm -mm. Um, speaking of. I'm just saying. The guy hasn't done anything for my daughter in five years. It makes you mad as a parent that they don't try to, and it's not about trips, okay? You're like, oh, about trips. No, 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 not about trips, okay? It is about doing stuff with your kid. My dad, for me, took me fishing, he took me bike riding, he, he went on walks with me, he took me hiking, my dad did picnics with me. He would go to the Pacabo. My, those are things that my dad did with me that makes me sad because her dad doesn't make an effort. 
And my, my, my parents didn't have any money, but it was the things that my dad did with me. And I'm sorry that I'm frustrated that her dad does have money. He does have the means to do these things, but he doesn't, he doesn't do them. And it, it really frustrates me and it makes me very angry. Okay. You said your piece on that? Yeah. We're going to leave it alone. Well, I just want to rebuttal because I'm getting things from the smashers. Understood. And I want to explain myself of, of, of why I, I, I say these things. I'm, I'm frustrated and, I, and I'm upset about it because as a girl, we need our dads as a little, you know, mm -hmm. to, to pay attention to us. Well, she has me now. Yes. Thank you. She does. And I took her jet skiing yesterday. Yeah, a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, we're spending a, a eight days here. Thank you in for Congo. that. Of course, of course. And this morning, you and Jolie and Asia, our host, went to a Zumba class, and I got some video of that. I'm going to show that in our afternoon smash. So I hope people will watch this afternoon. Oh my God! To see the Zumba Do we look video. stupid? Can I just say, like, watching Kelly dance, like I'm like amazed at how good you are, oh. even when you don't know the moves. I didn't know the moves. And how lucky I am to have you as my wife. Aww. I, that's what I was thinking as I sat there and watched you guys oh for my God. a brief time. I didn't sit in there the whole time, and, and I, but I shot a couple minutes of video. Oh, I don't, I'm, I'm kind of scared to see it. <laughs> no, you look great. You look oh. great. Um, someone wanted us to talk about the Maloof Christmas party. Oh, yeah. Which was a lot of fun. And they, they collected a thousand toys for Children's Hospital. So my girlfriend, Eden Alpert, her dad is Herb Alpert. Her, uh, she and um, Adrian Maloof put up this charity event for uh, LA Children's Hospital, Children's, Hop Children's Hospital of LA. And they collected a thousand toys. It was a lot of people. A lot of people Probably showed up. Probably five hundred people at this party. Five hundred. They and ran out. They ran out. Huge. They ran out of, of food. <laughs> uh, it was it was overwhelmingly a lot of people for them. I think. Yeah. yeah. It was a cool crowd. Um, there were some famous faces. Uh, I talked to Ron Artest for a while. I don't know how many people remember him. He was a basketball player. Uh, very famous for a fight that went into the stands in Detroit. Uh, I think he played for the Lakers for a while. It was really cool. I talked to him for 10 minutes. But uh, Jeff Lewis was there and Heather McDonald. Uh, and then my friend Rico, is um, he's black. Uh -huh. And he's running his own agency or a whatever. Streaming a streaming network thing. or something. He's like, I want to put you on a show, on my show. Like, uh, he wants to. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny that, that, that all these people call me racist <laughs> and my black friend Rico Cause, cause wants, to, wants to do you. something ni nice for me? They don't know you. That's Isn't why. that funny? Yeah. Um, we had a celebrity sighting today. Oh, yeah. Jolie did, too. Yeah, Jolie saw Elvis, uh, the guy who played Ky Elvis. No, Kyra, uh, Kyra uh, Gerber and her boyfriend, um, I forget his name. The actor who played Elvis. And then... Uh, Austin Billy something. And then we saw Billy And Jolie Bush. goes, Mom, do you understand who that is? Do you? I'm like, I don't know who that is. She's like, because you're old. And I'm like... Who is that? She's like, Mom, did you have any, have any heartthrobs when you were a teenager? Was there any like <laughs> hot guys that you liked when you were a teenager? And I was thinking, hmm. You know who I liked? Who? I liked Matt Dillon was my heartthrob. Matt Dillon? Matt Dillon. I loved him in The Outsiders. I loved him in Tex. Like, that was my celebrity crush when huh. I was a 16-year-old, a like a teenager like that. But this Austin, whatever his name is, played Elvis... Julie's like, oh, starstruck, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and she was like, Kaya, Kaya Gerber, Very was excited. it? She, was, she wasn't that. She was, she's just a, she was, she's just stick skinny. She looks like an average person. I'm like, she doesn't look like her mom because those pictures of her. Well, that's how she recognized the guy because I don't know that she would have known who he was, but she saw her and she knew that she was dating him and then she realized that was him. In the same way that Billy Bush, I think his girlfriend saw you and she said, oh, that's Kelly Dodd. And then he goes, oh, well, that's Rick Leventhal. And then he called me out. We were driving by. Or we're walking past his golf cart. And he, uh, he stopped me. And he said, hey, Rick Leventhal. So she says, we're going I, I in the pool. I about me. Hey, enough that? about me. Let's talk about you. So what do you think about me? I know me? we were just talking about you and your story. And now I want you to talk about my story. I love your stories. <laughs> Someone said, oh, you guys, there's trouble in paradise. There's no trouble in paradise. Oh, we would tell you. I we love we this share man. everything. <laughs> we do. We do. We're having a great time. Yes. A great time. 
and uh, wait, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, we're wearing our comfies for dinner tonight. Oh, when is dinner? <sighs> When's dinner? Viewer comments, Julie M. Happy holidays, y'all make my day. I struggle with depression, and y'all make me smile every day. Thank you. Oh, I love that. In the news now. In the news. Paula Abdul, 60, looks like a teenager in Photoshop fail. People said, who is this? There she is with Kathy Hilton. That's her? She Photoshopped it. She looks like she's 16 years old, does she not? She does. Well, when you see photos of what she really looks like, there she is again, Photoshopped. Oh my gosh. But then, and there she is again, Photoshopped. But then there she is, well, that's what she really looks like. Oh my God, my girlfriend, uh, Michelle Winters. Yeah. She goes, I want to get a facelift and look exactly what I look like when I'm Photoshopped. She did. She got a, fa <laughs> she got a facelift and she looks like she, she, like she got Photoshopped. People said you should be proud to age gracefully. Why do you need these extreme filters? And, and I have to say, Kelly never filters her photos. I don't. She doesn't. I don't. You don't my, need All to. my girlfriends do, though, and they give them back to me. I'm like, damn, I look good. Shit. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> yeah. But you don't need to. And then there's this. This is the story I teased at the beginning. Uh, former Miss Universe Australia edits her ex-husband out of wedding day video. So she was with this guy for four years. They got married uh, and then in February, but then they split in October. She had her wedding videographer re-edit the footage to take him out. So she still has a wedding video, but it's just her and her friends. Oh, she's pretty. She was Miss, Miss, uh, she was Miss Universe Australia. Oh, dang, she's got some chompers, though. <laughs> but she had her wedding video edited to take him out of the video. So it's just her, her bridesmaid. Like, why would you even want to watch that? I don't know. Like, okay, she, she got married and it didn't work out, but what do you need that video for? Are you mad? Would you be mad? Maybe. Maybe. You mean would I be mad if you edited our, me out of our video? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I would be. Really? Do you think that's why she did it, to get back at him? I don't know. Uh... <laughs> I just thought that Trouble was... Trouble in paradise! No. Mm -mm. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet here on YouTube, please do so. And don't forget to watch this afternoon. We will have those Zumba highlights. <laughs> and another really funny story. A guy who stopped for a bathroom break with his wife in the car, and I guess she got out to pee as well, and he left her in the jungle. That story Wait, coming well, up. Real quick, that thing that I just got that from Asia for dinner, yeah. we're wearing our comfies. Does that mean pajamas? Yeah, we're wearing our comfies for uh, dinner. Okay. So I'm going to go put I'm my comfies go, on. We're going to go put our comfies on. Okay. okay. Have a great day, everybody. Yay. Thank you for your support.